Hi everyone, and welcome back to Jill and Hugh Barbecue. Today, we're gonna to do an experiment. Jill has found this uh, butterfly half leg of lamb, and it's, it's, it's kind of steak shape, really. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's under seven, just under 700 grams, so it's quite small. So, what we thought we'd do, rather than cooking it in the oven or just, just sticking it on the, on the barbecue, we thought we're gonna slow cook it until it comes to an internal temperature of... 57-ish? 57, 58 degrees Celsius. Sort of on the cusp of medium, rare, medium. And then we're gonna take it off and reverse sear it, as you would <laughs> a steak. An experiment just to see how, uh, how it goes. Um, it so may or may not work. I'm gonna go and light the Big Joe, and Jill's gonna talk you through what she's done so far, and what okay. she's gonna do, and then we'll come back and put it on the barbecue, and... Uh, so Take it from there? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is quite a small piece of lamb. There is quite a bit of fat on it, um, but I've left it on and just decided to marinate it overnight. And that was a marinade of half a large lemon, the juice of half a large lemon, uh, and, and one part lemon to three parts oil. So some rapeseed oil I used actually, not olive oil, and some rosemary, some ground black pepper and some pink Himalayan salt, that's all. Oh, oh, and some garlic cloves, a couple of garlic cloves which I cut in half and just put with it. And uh, I did that early this morning, so it's had about uh, five hours actually in the marinade, which is plenty because it, it's not a big piece of meat. So I've drained off the oil and the garlic and some of the rosemary and I'm just going to put a very light sprinkling of a standard rub over it. Um, just very, very light. And I've got half a tablespoon of ground black pepper, half a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt, and then half a teaspoon of garlic granules and half a teaspoon of rosemary. So it's already been uh, marinating in the rosemary, but we'll just... Just a light sprinkling. Like that. And then once the barbecue is up to temperature, once Hugh's got that up to temp, it's not far off at the moment, um, we're just going to sit it directly on the grill grate and cook it at, I think he said 160 till we reach an internal of 57, 58. Then we'll take it off, ramp up the barbecue and uh, reverse sear it and see what the end result is. For today's cook, we've got the Big Joe set up with a heated deflector in the lowest position, the cast iron grill grate in the lowest position and our real grill rack in the highest position. And we've done this, so we're going to cook it here and then reverse sear it here. So now I'm going to take this out and light the barbecue. Well, Hugh's just told me that the barbecue's up to temperature, so before I take the meat out to him, I'm just going to put a probe into it, into the thickest part of the meat. It's fairly flat, but that looks... Uh, yeah, that looks fairly middle-ish, so... So that's ready to go out and as I said before we're going to cook it at 160 till we reach 57, 58 degrees and take it from there. Our Big Joe 3 is up the temperature so I'm going to put the lamb inside the dome. Now I want to do this as quick as possible because I want to lose as little heat from the dome as possible. So I'll get the lamb ready to go, open the dome and it's gone. There we go, on there, close the dome and we think this should take about an hour, maybe up to an hour and a half. Right, so our lamb has cooked until it got to internal temperature of 58 degrees. We took it off, we wrapped it in foil and then we ramp the barbecue up to 300 degrees Celsius and uh, I'll reverse it. I was going to video it, but it was pouring with rain 
and it, for a change yeah so i've done that and here and here it is ready to carve so this is like I said, this this is an experiment so we don't yeah, really know so we don't really got. know okay does it feel resistant no it feels oh no, it looks very juicy. It does look, it, it is juicy. Oh, look. And it's actually still a little bit pink. Oh, you're around the wrong side, are you? Turn it round and maybe they can see. So, yeah, I would say that's medium rare, wouldn't you? <laughs> this, Musical actually, chess. This, this does look. It looks really nice. It does, doesn't it? But, uh, and actually Let's that's how I like it. It is quite pink. Let's try a piece of this. But not bloody exactly. Thank you. Well, you've carved it nice and thin as well. Yeah, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Now, we didn't use any smoking wood because it's lamb. Mm. But is there residual smoke from yesterday's cook? Because I, I think, can I taste smoke or is it the rub? I think it's the rub. Which works really nicely. I've got garlic. Yep. Can you taste the garlic from the marinade? Garlic. Yep. There's juice. Mm. And lemon. Oh, that's quite rare. Oh no, no, oh, no. This is, this is how, this, wow, look at this. This is how lamb should be. So let's try a bit from the middle and see if that is tougher or... Thank you. Because that was really tender, that bit nearer the end. It's so juicy. That can go in the gravy. I've already put some in the gravy. It's like a ribeye steak. But it's lamb. It's bizarre. Mm. So about when it first came off, I wondered if we'd completely lost the plot thinking of reverse searing a piece of lamb. But no, it works. Wow. It is. It is. Right. Like, wow. It is like a steak, isn't it? We better hurry up because the roast potatoes will burn. And what are we going to have this with? Roasties and veg, like a roast, and I put the meat juices. And this is the gravy. A, Mal um, a Malbec. A Malbec. Chilean, chil 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 Chilean Malbec. No, Al Argentinian. Argentinian. <laughs> like we know the difference. Cheers. Very fruity. Very nice. Great. Very fruity. Yes. Six seventy-five. It's not bad. But it was on offer. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more Jill and Hugh barbecue, please hit the subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up and hit the bell so you don't miss any episodes at all. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.